Welcome to the Sitting Guild's International Spoken ESOL workshop with a focus on range. As I think you know, this is one of a series of workshops that we've put together to help teachers, help learners prepare for success in the tests and to develop language skills and teaching skills along the way. Um, for those of us who haven't met, my name is Vincent Swidovich and I've been asked to put together this series of workshops to give you maximum flexibility. So briefly, I'll explain how it's going to work. Um, I'm going to introduce the aims of this workshop and then hand over to you. Hand over to you as an individual or as um, a team. It would be nice if you could interact with colleagues and do the workshops together. And then at the end, I'll come back in and draw it all together. So the aim of this particular workshop is to look at the criterion of range in the context, of course, of the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages. Sitting Guilds implements the Common European Framework and we're going to look at how this happens in detail. The workshop will be a series of tasks for you to complete and either, as I say, complete with a partner and interact or to reflect on and check the feedback that we give you, feedback from experienced teachers, trainers and assessors. So, we're going to look at the relationship between ICESOL and the CFR. We're also going to look at what range actually means in the context of the test. Is it just range of vocabulary or is there more to it than that? Um, we'll also look at the part that range itself plays in assessment. Along with the other criteria, how does range contribute to the overall pass, fail, or that's her first class pass, performance? We'll look at range across the full range itself of levels. If you're not familiar with the test, you soon will be. And as we'll see, the spoken ESOL test covers all levels on the Common European Framework. Um, I'd also like to look at range in the four different parts of the test. The Spoken ESOL test isn't just one single interview, it is a complex four-part test and we'll look at how range works in this context. We'll also look at how range is assessed in what the Common European Framework calls the different domains. Um, if it's not a term you're familiar with, we'll explain as the workshop progresses. Most important, the workshop is going to give you practical teaching ideas that you can use in your classroom. Practical ideas to help your learners develop this important skill and practical ideas to help them to for perform with confidence in the spoken ESOL test. Um, what happens now is up to you. If you click on the workshop button you'll be able to carry out the workshop in your own time, as I said alone or with colleagues. When you've completed the workshop please click on the um, feedback video and what we'll do is try and draw it all together. So, over to you, see you later and enjoy the workshop. Hope you find it useful.